What's up, guys? Tim Halstead here for another episode of Drag Boss Garage, a pro stock minute or two, maybe three. But what we're going to talk about is just some pro stock oil pans. And these are Cleveland examples here. You know, these definitely are, look like they're wet sump, but they look like they're for a chassis car. And what we'll talk about just briefly to preview this is oil control. It doesn't matter who the driver is, what kind of car it is, what engine it's running. If you can control that oil, you're going to pick up horsepower with windage control. You're going to pick up cooling. You're going to pick up durability. Keep that oil pump from being starved. So what they did is back then they started realizing as the TETs got much quicker and the mile an hours and the speeds, they didn't have oil pans they go to Moroso and get or stuff. The bottom line is they made what they had. They took stock pans and welded all over them with baffles and trap doors. And here's a cool little example with a kick out. So you can see here, and I'll show you a picture of the pickup on a separate picture. But this has an AN fitting. It's bolted to the pan for clearance. It's perfect. It's got a couple trap doors here that prevent the oil from going forward when the car comes down from a launch, and that's important. So it also has a little crank scraper, and it looks like it had a mesh here to help with windage because you can pick up quite a bit of horsepower with windage. Now here's another example. This one's much heavier, and I've seen this pan in some Glidden Motors, Dino Don, Gap and Roush. It's pretty popular. You'll see it when you see the, the shape of it. So it's heavier, much heavier. It looks like it's wet sump, and the pickup came right through here and was fitted into this area. Trap doors again here, down here on the sides. These baffles up here. It's a pretty, pretty trick, man. I'm telling you, for that day. Crank scraper, another baffle. So that's how they did it back then in the pro stock days. They didn't have it, they made it. So they, the, the innovation that we're seeing, especially with that Bruce Sizemore Cleveland six cylinder motor, crazy. So shout out to you, Bruce. Compared to the stock Moroso nine quart pan I've been using for close to 40 years. They don't make them anymore. But so get your suspension under control. You end up like that. But that's the pro stock minute. I'm on, uh, John Wilbur's channel tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's his YouTube channel. Be there. We'll talk about all kinds of things. Cleveland's, I want to hear some Mopar stuff. He's a Mopar man. So hopefully I get some education on W2 heads. Stay tuned.